It just took me at least three hours to pick her up off the floor because I was just, I was just heartbroken. She lost a dog that felt like a family member, and it happened just six days after bringing the puppy home from a pet store. Hunter Kaysen contacted News 4 after we reported a similar situation two weeks ago. Tonight, News 4 investigative reporter Lauren Traeger has the latest from the problematic pet store. I still have her cage, her bed, literally everything. Back in November, Hunter Kaysen says it was love at first sight with this baby French bulldog. She was licking me in my face. I, I don't know. I just felt like she was mine. I had to get her. Aptly named Fendi, like the designer handbags, the little one got carried around in a bag. We went to restaurants, grocery stores. We went everywhere. She would be in our MCM bag, and she was just, she just went everywhere with us. Okay. Becoming instant best friends with Hunter's children. She was like another baby to me, honestly. Hunter got Fendi from Petland in Lake St. Louis and felt assured Fendi was in good health. But after only six days, I'm literally walking in the door. I watched her walk from her water dish. She drank a little bit and then she just collapsed. Like she just, like when her eyes opened, she just fell down. Fendi suddenly stopped breathing and died on their floor. It took me forever to put it in a box. I didn't want to put it in a box. <laughs> It's not the first time we've heard this. Earlier this month, we told you about Myrna Ever. She just wasn't well. She wasn't like a dog should have been. Her Maltese puppy purchased from Petland did not survive more than two weeks. I think she was dying when I got her. And just like Myrna, Hunter says she cannot get a refund for the astonishing eight thousand dollars she financed to pay for Fendi. I loved her so much. Like the minute I held her, it's just I don't know. It was something about her. I had to get her. I had to. I didn't really care <laughs> about the money. Petland eventually took Fendi's remains and told her the puppy had a heart defect. I feel the whole thing was a scam. It, it was fraud. I feel like they just sell sick puppies. Their offer of a new puppy was something she just couldn't bear. When I told them that the puppy died, they told me, oh, um, we can replace her. And I'm like, you replace her? You can't replace her. There's no replacing someone who is a part of your family. Now she, like Myrna, wants to warn others. If they really did care, they would have handled this for me. I'm still being hunted by the same exact scene. We heard from one other person who also says they got a sick puppy from Petland. The attorney general says they only have two complaints about the store and both were resolved. Petland has previously told us all pets are examined by three vets before they're sold. We've got tips on how to protect your next puppy purchase on KMOV.com. But I've also heard from lots of you saying instead of buying, adopt instead. I'm Lauren Traeger, News 4 Investigates. Tonight we did hear back from a representative of Petland. According to the spokesperson, they are aware of the situation with Fendi and are saddened by the loss of the puppy. They say the dog's condition was not hereditary, so it wouldn't be subject to their warranty for sick animals. But even still, they say Hunter should be getting a full refund from the third party that financed the purchase of the puppy.